Okay, mate, so do you want to tell us what your name is and where you come from? No, my name's Tom Hughes. I'm from Colcan, New South Wales. Right, and what trade are you involved in? Ah, uh, plumbing. So you want to tell me your history with plumbing and like how did you get into it, why and where? Oh, uh, well, back in year 10, I had two weeks of work experience and chose to do it with Bluey's Plumbing and Digging in my local town of Colcan. And he said they just wanted me for a labourer. And after that, he said if he had enough work in the year after, he'll give me a job and he gave me a job. What exact skills do you need to do plumbing? Uh, I just need mathematics and hand skills. What do you enjoy most about your job? Um, that you travel around everywhere, get to meet new people. How did you find out about World Skills? Like, how did you get involved? Ah, uh, well, the River uh, Riverina Regionals was held in Albury TAFE, and that's TAFE I go to, and my TAFE teachers suggested I should go in it. So, okay, what's what is it that you're working on here? Like, what's your assignment or your duty? Ah, uh, we've got to do hot, cold, gas, and that on a laundry. Got to do the sewer on the laundry and put a hottie in and a tempering valve. How, how important is world skills to your career? So how's it helping you or benefiting you in the future? Uh, well, it sort of just gives me a name around Australia. So if I leave Cold Can, I'll have people not sort of know me. That's it. How did you train for it, like this experience? Uh, well, Tyson Knight was my trainer and he, we, we did probably once or twice a week. I got involved with World Skills in 2007 in a regional comp. Went all the way through to Sydney in the national comp and then through to Canada. Um, and I feel that I should uh, repay all the um, services and all the help and all the money that everyone else has put into me for my journey. So the, the way I can do that, just at a local level, is to help Tom out. And I just like to see him succeed. He's um, a, a good young bloke and he's got the potential. So you obviously have very high expectations for Tom. Very, you? very high expectations. So yeah. I, I, I try not to force him on him, but uh, I think he knows that he, yeah, he, he can do a good job. What do you believe are the importance of having a World Skills Comp? Like, how does it benefit the other participants? Well, there's a lot of apprentices within Australia. Now, they're just apprentices. By competing in a World Skills competition, it opens that many doors. When I first started my trade, I did not expect to, to be in this sort of situation. You know, you meet some great people along the way, some great contacts. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for scholarships and uh, promotional stuff, uh, overseas travel, a lot of doors are open. So I think the importance of, of holding these sort of in, international and national competitions is, is critical to the Australian trade. So you'd say mostly all this to, with credibility and being acknowledged? Yeah, yeah it, it's acknowledgement to those apprentices that are high achievers that they usually just go under the radar sort of thing. So World Skills actually gives them the chance to shine and show the rest of Australia and then the world how good they are. Uh, what would you recommend for someone who'd like to participate? Do it. Don't look back. Tom was very hesitant when he won the um, regional competition. Um, he wasn't quite sure what he got himself into. Um, but he took a little bit of convincing but we got him there and I hope he doesn't regret my decision to, to try and influence him to come here. But uh, we'll see after the after the three days whether he um, thinks it was a worthwhile experience or not. But um, yeah, to anyone that is an apprentice that has got some decent practical skills, I urge to, to try a regional competition and see where it can take you. Do you have any expectations from this weekend? No, I'll just learn some more skills and see how far I can get. In the near future, where do you see yourself? Uh, probably running my own business somewhere.